Hey guys, in this video, I will show you what to do if your iPhone can't connect through 4G LTE after the iOS 13.5 update. Shortly after the iOS 13.5 update, some iPhone owners have been complaining because they're having some network related issues. There were those who reported about the 4G LTE that no longer works on their devices. If you have this problem, then here's what you need to do. First solution, make sure cellular data is enabled. For you to be able to have the 4G LTE signal, you need to enable the cellular data on your device. Open settings. Tap cellular and then tap the switch to enable it. If it's already enabled, or if this doesn't fix the problem, then move on to the next solution. Second solution, force restart your iPhone. The next thing that you have to do is the forced restart. It's a simulated battery removal that refreshes your phone's memory and reloads all services. If this is just a minor problem caused by a glitch in the system, then this procedure is all you need to make 4G LTE work on your phone again. To do that, quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. Immediately after that, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds. This will force the phone to shut down and turn back on. When the Apple logo shows, release the power key and wait until your iPhone finishes the reboot. After doing this, try to see if the 4G LTE is now working properly. If it still does not, then try the next solution. Third solution, reset the network settings on your iPhone. After doing the previous solution and your iPhone still can't connect to the internet via 4G LTE, then what you have to do next is to reset the network settings. This will bring all network services back to factory defaults. From the home screen, tap settings. Tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Touch reset network settings. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap reset network settings at the bottom of the screen. Your iPhone will reboot after this. Once it has finished rebooting, try to see if the problem is fixed. Most of the time, these are the only things you need to do to fix issues like this. However, if it continues, then you have no other choice but to do the next solution. Fourth solution, factory reset your iPhone. A reset will be able to fix network issues including this problem, but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted and you may not be able to retrieve them. When ready, follow these steps. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap General. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch Reset. Tap Erase All Contents and Settings. Tap Erase Now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap Erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.